Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today this haul is going to be in English. The reason why I am filming this video in English is because one of my subscribers, one of my friends and co-workers who I work with, and she's seeing me right now and she knows who she is. She's like, Liz, you always upload all these videos and they're in Spanish. I can't understand them. I want to know what you're saying. So this video, it's, it's, it's for all of you guys, but especially it's for her. Well, in November, November 7th, the makeup show in Chicago was November 7th and 8th. And it was a makeup show at Chicago. I went to the makeup show Saturday. Uh, we have planned this for a long time. My friend Estella flew all the way from Colombia to attend the show. It was my friend Stella, Ivana, and Karina. They all have uh, YouTube channels and they we all met up at the makeup show. And believe it or not, this year I didn't do as much damage as I did in Dallas and at the makeup show Chicago 2014. So here's the haul. I'm going to be sharing some, all the items that I bought the makeup show and the prices. Some of the prices I lost a lot of the receipts. I don't keep track of a lot of the receipts. But here they are. And before you guys ask me, what do I have in my lips? If I can find it here. This is a lipstick that I have today. It's Vampira by Kat Von D. These are the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I like this. And I have, I line my lips with the Giordana Easy Liner for lips in the color Cabaret. Is it? Carbonate. So this is what I have in my lips. And... And, 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 I've been playing with a lot of pigments and glitter because I'm trying to get like a nice holiday look. <laughs> and I have, I have this glitter by the, by Eye Candy Cosmetics and this is a double bubble. And this is a nice little glitter. This is double bubble. And I've been shopping around my makeup because I, I decided to organize all my makeup the other day and I found this really nice this really nice palette from Kat Von D. This is the Star Sudden Eyeshadow Book. And I bought this over a year ago. Yes, a year ago. I and I bought it, I stored it, and I never used it. And I finally reached out and used it. And it has all these beautiful colors. All these beautiful colors. It's it's a beautiful palette. And this is what I have in my eyes today. I actually play a lot with I actually played a lot with this quad here and this quad here. And that's what I have in my eyes today. Let's get this haul started before it tur it turns into a an hour long haul. Well, I start with I'll start with this bag if I can get the cable out. <laughs> I'll start with this bag. C palettes. Yay! Well, I bought the Windex for the brushes. No, I'm just playing. This is the Cinema Secrets Pro Cosmetics Makeup Brushers Cleaner. They had a good deal on this. I don't know if I can find the receipt. But it re this is usually retails for forty dollars, fifty dollars, sixty, and I pay like like thirty percent off the price. And this is really good for your brushes. A lot of my makeup artists have this. It it's a quick drying, rinse free formula. I actually don't mind the smell. It smells like chemicals and vanilla, and. This thing is amazing for your brushes. Like not only it it disinfects them, but it also like it will it will like literally suck out the pigment out of your brushes. Like it cleans the bristles very very nice. Like if you have like you know like a lot of the blendy brushes, the bristles are like the white. They have like the white bristles. With well, this will 
remove all stains and they will dry your brushes like in three seconds this thing is amazing actually in dallas i bought like a small the, the travel size friendly one and i used it so much i went it, that i had i i like i ran out out of it so this is why i bought this this big jar <laughs> next I went to the C palette and I bought a C palette. This is the the extra large. I think here you can I don't know how many I don't know how many eyeshadows you can get here or blushes. I don't know, but I I bought this. I don't know if I'm going to if I'm going to save this to buy some makeup geek eyeshadows, but I bought this one. I really really like C palettes. It makes make it makes the store it makes like storage very easy like you know like I I love sometimes I sometimes I like single eyeshadows but when I when I when I think about it and I'm like okay I want to buy a really nice NARS eyeshadow but then I think when I'm like oh my god where am I gonna store this it's gonna be and then sometimes you just forget about that single eyeshadow so this is a really really nice to condense all your makeup and what else did I got? Oh, I went to, um, I just put this stuff here in this, um, in this bag, in this bag, but I went to crumb brushes. Yay. You know, crumb brushes was, it's one of those, it's, it's one of those like companies that they have some really cheap not very good quality brushes so to some really reasonable high-end quality brushes but I noticed that the prices are going up um, I don't know why but I feel like for each brush I paid a dollar from one dollar to two dollars more than I did at the makeup show in Dallas but anyway I actually didn't go as crazy as I usually go at the crown brushes booth because I bought like literally like 50 brushes in Dallas so I actually was like okay I'm just gonna buy the brushes that I need so I bought these little two tints from crumb brushes these are really inexpensive and the reason why I bought this it was because um I bought these two I don't know to mix foundations or put powders and I also bought this so I can pour some of the cinema secret stuff in there and clean my brushes so I'm gonna keep one for my actual makeup and then one is gonna be for my for my cinema secrets and these were like four dollars they were so cheap and so nice and Believe it or not, I only bought one, two, three, four, five, six brushes. I actually was very, very disappointed this year at the makeup show because, first of all, I was so disappointed with the date that they choose that they chose. Usually November, you don't want to go shopping. You don't want to go splurge at the makeup show in November when you know that there's other, there's like Sephora and Nolta having all these like really nice holiday deals. That same weekend that the makeup show, um, that was a makeup show, the same weekend Sephora had a 20% off coupon. And then a week ago, Ulta had a 20% coupon. So it was just... This year, the Makeup Show Chicago was not at the right date. And then two weeks later, you have Black Friday, and you had all these beauty companies that are having all these Black Friday deals and steals. So I don't know. And then when we got to the Makeup Show, I felt like it was smaller, and there wasn't that many, like there wasn't that many companies, and there wasn't that many, like for example, Anastasia wasn't there. Um, Stila wasn't there. There wasn't that many companies there, and I was like, oh my god, I wanted to go to Anastasia because I want to get her. I wanted to get her highlighters. I want to get her some of her eyebrows brushes, but they weren't there. So 
These are the eyebrows brushes that I bought from Crumb Brushes. They're like the dual. And here's a little tip. And then here's a little... I call it the mascara wand, but... <laughs> and these are the ones I got. And I also got a flat kabuki. This is like the popular, famous F80. But this is the... C425 by Chrome Brushes. This is really nice for foundation. Some of those liquid foundations that you can really apply with the Beauty Blender. This is really nice. And this one reminds me of one of the brushes from MAC. This is a Taper Dual Fiber Blush. Brush. This is really good for... I mean, brushes you could use them for anything and everything. You don't have to really follow the guidelines of how to use a brush. If it says it's for blush and you want to use it to contour, go ahead. We live. And this is a nice brush. This reminds me of one of MAC brushes to set under eyes, contour. This is a really nice brush. This is the C427. So, this is a nice brush. Then I got a Deluxe Buffer. The reason why I got this brush, this is like a nice rounded kabuki kind of brush. It's like a nice to buff your foundation, really blend it in. The reason why I bought this is because I have, there's two foundations that I have that are very liquidy and runny. Like they're like almost like a water texture. And it's my Coco Chanel Velvet, um foundation and my my new the new formula the NARS my new foundation by NARS they have like a new formula so this is why I decided to get this one my NARS foundation I I, I can't apply it with a beauty blender I feel like it just it's too runny like I need something to really set it in in the skin so this is why I bought this brush I also bought this crumb brush. This is a C441 Pro Blending Crease. This is a nice blending brush. You can never have enough of these. These are really nice. These are perfect. And this is... I don't know what number this is. This is like... But this is a nice eyeshadow blush. It's really nice and flat and perfect to really pack color in your eyelids. So those are my brushes I bought, I bought from Chrome Brushes. And I need to put everything away before I make a birthday. Okay. Moving on, moving on. Smashbox. Okay. Where do I start? Let's start with some. Let's start with Smashbox. Okay, from Smashbox, the only thing I bought was my. This is like a a must-have. This has become my favorite. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I don't really use. I use this as a primer. But I also use it to send my makeup. I just love this water. Or even if it's my makeup, it's like, it's been a long day. I had my makeup for like a few hours. And I feel like it's just sometimes, it, you know, makeup can crease. I grab this water and just blah, 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 blah. I love this water. This is a really, really, really nice um, primer. So I'm almost out of my... So I need to open this one. And because I bought that primer, they gave me this Limitless Long Wear Lip Gloss. This really nice lip gloss. I'm not a lip gloss person. I like matte um, lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. I'm not really a matte person. So this is my Smashbox. And then, oh my god. So... Makeup Forever, they were having some really, really good deals. And there was two items that I wanted to buy, but I completely forgot about them. And then I remembered, and I'm like, 
oh my god, I should have bought them. And they're these, they're the, um, the bricks. I call them the bricks, but they're these, like, little squares that has all the colors in there. I don't know the right name for them right now, but I forgot to grab those. Uh, you can use them to make foundations, or you can use them as eyeshadow bases. You can use them for anything. And, um... I forgot to get, buy those. They're those are a good deal. They're usually ninety nine dollars each, but you. But sometimes I have the deals of buy two for ninety nine dollars. So the only thing I got at Makeup Forever, there was a very very long line, and they were having like a 30, 40 to forty percent off for thirty. Hmm, I don't remember, but they had a very very long line, and I mean the line was like. 30 minutes just to pay and I, I mean it, there was so much people but I got my makeup forever ultra HD foundation this is in the color 153 Y. then I guess the new color is Y405 this is this is um it's a really good foundation for photographing it's very runny so this is why I buff I bought that brush the the round kabuki. So I bought this. I bought that. And oh my god, I love this primer. This primer is the best mattifying primer there is out there. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna hit somebody. <laughs> but anyway, this is a really good primer. This is the Step 1 Skin Equalizer Base Mattifying Primer. This is really good. Like, I tried this over the summer. This was my holy grail primer the whole entire summer. This, this holds your makeup really nicely and it really mattifies your face. I love this primer. And then... Moving on, moving on, moving on. I didn't buy that many things at the makeup show. Hmm, I did good. Then I went at, I was stopped at Inglot. At Inglot, I only bought a pigment. This is the Pure Pigment Shadow in the color 120. This is the 120. This is a beautiful pigment. This this is the only thing I bought at Inglot. This is, it's a beaut, it's like a, like a pur metallic purple with like blue refle reflex. It's beautiful. Look at this color. Oh my god. I don't know, like, if you can really see it. So, the. It's beautiful a beautiful beautiful pigment like I was like oh my god I need to get this I need this in my life it's beautiful I'm afraid of spilling this thing over but it's a beautiful pigment see like it looks different in the lighting this is a really nice pigment I got this pigment and that's what I got at Inglot and the only boots that were that there was a lot of people and there was a long line was Makeup Forever and NARS. I went to NARS and they were having a 30% on selective items, which I was kind of disappointed. Um, but then towards the end, like when they were about to close the makeup show, they had this like I I guess there's um there was this like little vault with like six or five lipsticks inside by the they're by the new collection well it's not so new but it was the Steve Steve clean collection I think that the set of the lipsticks are the price was it, it was a value of three hundred dollars but they were they're selling them for 160 but towards the end, they were giving you, they, like, that was excluded. At the beginning, that was excluded from the 30% off. But then at the end, they're like, oh, you know what? We added this into a 30%. But at NARS, they were celebrating a 20-year anniversary, and I got their bag. And at NARS, I got 
two blushes. These, I don't know, I think I need, I'm going to put these in a C palette. These are the blushes. I actually didn't, like these, these didn't, didn't have these colors in the compact. So I just bought the pants. Now they sell them in pants, apparently. This is the Dulce, Dulce Vida. Dulce Vida. That's an Italian name. And this is the beautiful color of the blush. It's a really nice, like, um, it's, um, like a, like a brown, like a brown mauve with gold essence, essence to it. It's very nice. It's a very, very, very nice blush and I had to get this blush. I wanted this blush for a long time. I got Super Orgasm. And I didn't get them in the pan. The only thing that throws me off this blush is that it has gold essence, but they're like really big. I don't know. You guys see it yourself. They're like really big glitter chunks. I don't know. I need to play with it around to see if I like it or not. But I like NARS blushes. I think they're like one of the best blushes out there. And that's what I got from NARS. That's what I got from NARS. That's what I got from NARS. And my last two bags. Okay, I went to this store. Oh, here's some, some receipts. Okay, the blushes, they were $21 each, but it was a 30% off, so I pay like $16 for them. No, $15 for them. The pigment, the Inglot pigment, they were 12, it was $12.81. I pay, I pay $14 because I have to pay taxes. Oh, and some of the boots, you pay tax, and some of them, the taxes are included in the price. And, okay. So, I bought at this store, the Beauty Empower. At this store, I bought a two beauty, ben, two beauty blender cleansers. I personally haven't found a really nice soap that will clean the beauty blenders nicely as the original beauty blender soap so liquid cleanser soap i don't know why i'm calling it soap it's called the beauty blender beauty blender cleanser this retails for 17.50 and i bought it for 14 dollars i like this one for the actual sponge but i like the cleanser I like the actual bar cleanser I like this one for my brushes to clean my brushes and this is this one retails for $15.90 and I bought it for $12.50 and oh the oh here the makeup forever the foundation retails for $43 but I pay $34 for it and then the the primer retails for $36 but I paid $24 for it so they were all 30% off and then oh my god Mac really really disappointed me this makeup show I don't know I feel like it wasn't a really good makeup show but because I don't know like when I, we arrived there at 10 and we thought, well, I'm like, oh my God, we're late. We're not going to find a parking spot. We actually didn't find a parking spot. We had to park very far. But then as we were going in, a lot of people were like walking out. Like they were so disappointed with the makeup show that we're just walking out. So I don't know. I wasn't too, uh, I wasn't too impressed, but oh well. So... At the makeup show, 
I, Mac, I was disappointed with Mac. First of all, they weren't taking any cash. They were only, no, they weren't taking, they weren't taking any cash. That's right. They weren't taking any cash. And you know, when you go to this makeup show, for example, myself, I bring cash because I set myself a limit and I'm like, okay, once I'm out of cash, that's it. But then I'm like, okay, you're not taking cash. Um, I'm like, can, are you taking debit cards? No, credit cards. They're like, no, we're only taking debit cards. Like, it was like, they had their pro line. They, oh my God. They, they was just so disappointed with everything. But anyway, going back to, I'm like jumping from one thing to another. But anyway, so my friend Ivana, she really nicely paid for, like, she put it in her card. Then I gave her the cash. Um, I bought, actually I bought four lipsticks, but one is a gift. But I wasn't, I wasn't too like happy with their, with the stuff they had. They had only the pro line, but they were, this is what I don't get. They were selling like the, the pro line, like only the eyeshadows and blushes that come in a pan, but they weren't selling any C palettes. They didn't have any other foundations. They didn't have, they only had, they only had like the pure color pigments. They had the pressed pigments, they have lipsticks, some eyeshadow, the new um, Studio f uh, Fix Liquid Water Foundation. They weren't selling any, they didn't have, they didn't even have their brushes. Like, they didn't have that many things. They were so limited. Like, it was like, like, they, they didn't have, like, concealers. They didn't have anything. Like, I was very disappointed. So... I don't know. I was like, oh well. So I bought three, three for myself. I bought three lipsticks. Three lipsticks. What else? They didn't. They didn't even have like their skincare. Yeah, they didn't have their skincare. They didn't even have mascara. They they basically like I think they only had like they had their pigments and they have like their like their powders, like their like their setting powders. Some of them. Yes, they didn't have that many things. They were just so disappointed. But anyway, moving on. I bought three lipsticks. This is a famous diva. It's a beautiful. I think you guys seen these lipsticks all over. This is a nice, beautiful red burgundy color. They're all matte. I'm a matte girl. I love matte lipsticks. And if I can only get them in. Whirl. This is a famous Kylie Jenner made this. She made this so famous and now it's a lipstick. Rural lipstick. And flat out fabulous. These are the only ones. This one here, flat out phallus. These are the ones that I bought. And those are the only ones, the only lipsticks I bought. And here is the makeup show that I went to. And as you can see, oh, some of the brands weren't having also a good deal. Like, for example, Kryolan, they weren't really having any offers. You had to spend over $200 to get a discount. Um, NYX Cosmetic, by the time we got there, most of the stuff was sold out. But NYX Cosmetic is a brandy you can get at Ulta, and there's always coupons that you can use. There was actually, like, some stuff for static nails. And also... Also, Sephora was there, but I didn't, I didn't get anything 
at Sephora because I before that I got some brushes so at this my local Sephora and who else was there hmm oh there were some makeup lights that you could have got for your vanity but that that was that was it Thank you so much for joining me today on this video and as you can see I colored my hair. I actually went to a really, I found like a really good place that I'm going to be going. It's called Steven Taylor and they use products, organic products. They're, um, are all the, they're called Avita by the brand Avita. Really, really nice products but I color, I style it and I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's like a nice burgundy purple I really like this color but thank you so much for joining me if I don't know if I'll be uploading a video um next week or this week but I just want to wish everybody a happy and safe Merry Christmas to you and your family and if I don't see you guys next week I will see you guys next year thank you so much for joining me today Merry Christmas and a happy new year. <laughs> bye bye.